Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas football here in San Antonio with the head coach of the Brownsville Hannah Golden Eagles after a 35-19 win over Amarillo Tascosa. Uh, coach Guest, congratulations on the win, first of all. Well, thank you very much. I tell you what, we drove a long ways, and they drove even further to make this happen. And uh, it, was, it was a great game. We, we had a great time on it. All right, now obviously, uh, there, you know, there's a stigma that goes with, with Valley teams playing out of Valley teams, and that's, you know, years and years of, of playoff futility and, and failures in the playoffs, close calls, calls, that kind of thing. This is just a non-district game, but did it have a little more meaning for you and your kids to kind of represent not only Hannah and Brownsville ISD, but the entire Rio Grande Valley? Absolutely. You know, we felt like we had the whole weight of the valley on our shoulders. You know, coming up here and playing in San Antonio, because they always say that San Antonio is the graveyard. You know, for for Valley teams. And yeah, I mean, it wasn't a San Antonio school. It was Amarillo school out of that District 26A, which is that Permian District, Midland District, you know, and, and that's one of the toughest districts in the state. So for us to get this victory, you know, I mean, it, it's, it means the world to us down there in the Valley. All right, now defensively, I thought your defensive line really did a great job controlling the game and not letting their offense uh, kind of get on track. They have a lot of great skill kids, but you guys really really did a good job bottling up and containing them. What kind of challenges does, does that flexible offense present from a preparation standpoint, and what did you guys do to uh, kind of contain them? What was the game plan? Well, I, I had a little background in that in that option offense, so uh, I was used to it. I knew what we had to do. You know, we have to take care of responsibility football, and we have to go you know, take care of the dive, take care of the quarterback, and take care of the pitch. And I knew if we could do that, if we could contain that that quarterback and the and the fullback, I had a feeling we'd be we'd be on the winning side of this thing. All right, now offensively, especially in the first half, you guys were very efficient. Uh, you moved the football uh, really well. We're really efficient on third down. Uh, your quarterback um, really played well, and you, you had a lot a lot of skill weapons. What, what offensively, what did you guys try to do to really keep their defense off balance? Well, we we were trying to make them run. We were going to try to get them, you know, make them run and chase us down to the outside. And and you know, they're they're inside linebackers and their defensive front are very good front you know they got great speed great athleticism uh, but we figured that if we could if we could run them wide a little bit we'd start getting them tired and then we'd be able to punch them in the mouth and and that's kind of what our game plan was and I think we kind of followed through on it. Now I know I've seen a few t playoff games where Valley teams are playing in the third round and it seems like something something bad happens right away and kind of hang their head and kind of droop a little bit. You guys got hit right there they, they scored a long touchdown and hit you six nothing but you, your kids seem to settle in. For, from your perspective having been involved in these games before when did you feel like okay we're we're gonna be okay we, we, we're, we're settling in we're, we got we, we're, we're right there with them. Well we talked about it at halftime coming out the second half and making sure that, that we move the ball to the other side of the field and, and really get a fast start in the third quarter to try to get that first score going. Uh, to try to get that that three score separation, mm -hmm. you know, and and then and then just play with the clock, you know, and you know it worked. I mean, we got we got down the field, we scored that touchdown, got that three lead, but then they come right back, and and that's what we knew. We know they're very athletic, man. They're a great football team. They got several defensive, I mean, D one players in there, on that that group, and you know we knew we were going to have our hands full, but you know our kids play with a lot of heart, a lot of determination, and and uh, they're proud kids, you know, and they play for each other so hard, and and I'm just so proud of them. All right, now do you feel like I know, like I said, this is just a non district win but do you feel like you could this can be a, a, a kind of a stepping stone and propelling you guys hopefully in the district and hopefully into a potential playoff run it's kind of a, a great little kind of dry run for a possible playoff game right well it certainly is and that's the way we were trying to treat this because we had to come up yesterday and spend the night and and do all those distracting things that we're not normally used to doing but the great thing was 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 this year we had an opportunity to do it during non-district play and uh I think that, uh, you know, as we move forward, our goal has always been to win the district championship and make a run to the state championship, you know. And the only way we could face this team now is if we meet them in the state championship game or somebody from that district. So, uh, you know, I mean, we're just, we're just happy with this win. And, and we're going to try to, you know, I told them ahead of time, you know, that, that win or lose this game, it doesn't make or break our season because it has nothing to do with our playoff chances or district championship. So we just wanted to make sure that we came out, played well, and, and took it from there. Final question. It's got to be a uh, going to be a fun bus ride home. I'm sure it's a lot better than uh, on the losing end. And then the bye week. You're going into a bye week. Uh, from a, you, you're, you're an old coach. You've been around for a while. A lot better to go in that thing with the win than it is a loss, right? Boy, I tell you, <laughs> it's a long week when you lose, right? I tell you, there it's a long week. When, two weeks when you when you lose going into bye week. But uh, now we're going to take take off the film what we need to take and and get better and try to make a run and get that district championship. Coach, appreciate your time. Enjoy the win with your kids, and uh, we'll see you down the road. You got it. Thank you. Great.